Groundwater can involve some very different economic issues than does urban water supply. Let's turn to the nation of Yemen on the Arabian Peninsula. In Yemen, there's not so much surface water, so very commonly water is extracted from the ground using wells, and it's literally pumped up, typically using diesel fuel. Yemen also has a generally high elevation, so once the water is pumped up out of the ground, there's a second problem of getting it to where the people are, and that means pumping it uphill. A frequent problem when there is so much reliance on groundwater is what economists call tragedy of the commons. That is, many different individuals can access this water under the ground, and their incentive is to pull out too much water too quickly. Why is that? Well, think of the returns. If you leave some water there under the ground, it's not that you personally can come back to claim it at some point in the future. Everyone else has access to that same water under the ground. It's a common property resource. So you know that what you leave behind, most of it will be claimed by others, so your incentive is to pump as much as you can, as rapidly as you can, and take it for yourself. The result has been a significant depletion of the water tables in Yemen, and right now a typical Yemeni citizen receives about one-fifth of what the WHO considers to be an adequate supply of water. In the year 2011, partly because of water scarcity, but also partly for political reasons, for many Yemeni citizens, the price of water went up by a factor of five or ten times over a single year. Many observers of the Yemeni scene with regard to water actually predict that Yemen within the next 20 to 30 years may run out of water in many parts of the country. This is considered to be a very grave situation, and Yemen is also the poorest country in the Middle East, and perhaps the least able to meet this kind of crisis. A related problem with Yemeni water is how much of it is used for agriculture and how carelessly that water can be used. It's estimated that over half of the water used in Yemen is used to grow a crop called kat. Kat is grown and it takes the form of a chewable leaf which has a slightly addictive quality. It's estimated that 70 to 80 percent of the Yemeni population is addicted to chewing this leaf. This goes beyond economic issues, but it's sometimes questioned whether this is really the best use for the Yemeni water supply. By the way, if you're pulling water up out of the ground in Yemen for agricultural uses, you're probably using diesel, and the price of that diesel fuel has long been subsidized. So in essence, the government is subsidizing water use and pulling water out of the ground precisely at a time when they should be doing the opposite, namely enforcing property rights which encourage people to leave some more water in the ground. Like some of the other nations in the Gulf region, the Yemeni government has encouraged a lot of agriculture with tariffs and protectionism, and as a result, bananas and also citrus fruit are grown in Yemen. Those can be highly water-intensive crops, and again, in a country which doesn't really have that much usable water at a low cost, this is arguably an extremely unwise policy. On top of all of these problems, the security situation in Yemen is very tense, there have been frequent kidnappings, and there's also some degree of terrorist activity. This makes it harder to solve virtually all of their problems. Not, perhaps not surprisingly, the biggest losers from this arrangement have been the poor. The wealthy typically have the resources to drill their wells, and maybe the water will run out soon, but the wealthy get some water now, and if they're not allowed to drill a well, then they just simply go and bribe an official, because Yemen is a fairly corrupt country, and as it stands now, it is common that a poor person will pay for a unit of water 20 times more than the price that would be paid by a wealthier Yemeni who, say, would live in a suburb of the capital. 20 times more, that's really an impressive and very depressing difference. The situation in Yemen is considered one of the most serious, if not the most serious, water problem in the world today. There's a lot of debate on when Yemen might run out of groundwater, and no one really knows, but many people are very concerned. To read more on this whole topic, Google Yemen Water Economics.